Love to welcome everybody back to the Independent Investor Channel. Guys, this is going to serve as a uh, really a closure uh, video where we take a look at um, why we invest. Um, you know, we do due diligence and we do deep dives on companies. And at times, especially even in an opportunity like this, we may take a monetary stake in a company that is early in the process. Um, it um, It is in the early innings of its evolution, but the prospects of what is observed in those early stages of the company are, are attractive enough to take a stake in. And over the last couple of years, I've been covering Aduro Clean Technologies, and I've went through down days. Um, I've went through prolonged sessions of not a lot of announcements. Um, I have relied on my conviction over the last two and a half years, and I have benefited from it. And we're going to jump in and we're going to talk about the stock action which is really the byproduct of a well-laid plan in investing. You typically do not want to analyze stock. I'm not a technical uh, applicator, especially with um, you know, companies that are, are drawing revenues um, of such light consequence to a Duro. Usually technical analysis is much more appropriate for those companies that have uh, trends that can be based upon right and and thesis can be drawn upon with regard to uh, a potential direction of of a stock but when you're looking at uh penny stock investing a company that has been um resided on the OTC markets over the last uh, couple of years since we've been covering the company ha has really advanced in value in the face of um those those poor uh markets and access to the to the to the stock uh, and the lack of institutional uh, interest or or restrictions in buying the company. Um, I think there's been interest in it, but we've been premature of the 100 million mark and we've been premature of uh, Aduro being traded on reputable uh, markets. And just as of late, since the announcement has been uh, put forward to the public audience, we understand now the share consolidation that is going to be occurring here in the short term with Enduro Clean Technology. And it is fitting for me to announce on the channel that we are closing down on the book of business for ACTHF. Um, that book of business will no longer exist. Um, it was a project that was fun to, to cover. Uh, it materialized over time, and, and and my goodness, guys, we made money. And I tell you what, there's a lot of people out there that work really, really hard day to day. And for us to convey information the way that it was conveyed to me and bring investors into this opportunity, if you made a little bit of money or if you made a lot of money, uh, I congratulate you. Um, we're going to quantify and take a look at the history just year to date uh, and and over the past year back uh, August of 2023 on what we can maybe determine um, with the goings on in the company and give us some level of premonition I'm going to share with you on where I think this is shaping up to go. Okay, I'm not a magician. Um, I will convey the disclaimers uh, within the chart analysis that we're going to review in this video and talk about the performance and what it could potentially mean for you and talk about your uh, obligation as a potential share owner in this company to acknowledge your responsibility, both on getting yourself involved in the company, as well as a potential for taking some profits at some point into the future. So guys, with that, let's kick in and we'll take a look at the stock action over the course of the Independent Investor Channel covering uh, the name and what it could potentially mean here going forward. Let's get, kick in. We'll take a look. And here's a one-year chart on Adero Clean Technologies. This is something that I typically do not do very often on the Independent Investor Channel, but I think with the looming uplisting of um, Aduro as we know it, uh, and the entering into a new era of of Aduro Clean Technologies, with the exposure that it's going to get with the uplisting, I think it's worth not only congratulating those who have uh, been in the stock for all of the last. 
uh, one year's time that I'm going to trace here. I've been in the stock for over two and a half years. And if you go back on the charts, um, you can see where I started covering it was around 52 cents. This was even before the game changer was announced. But there's a few things here I want to bring to your attention. It's, it's of interest. And I want to premise this in understanding that this is a job well done for share owners. And I want to point out the fact that there were times along this stock chart represented here that some people found it um, convenient uh, to take profit. Um, I was not one of those. Um, I'll bring your attention to right about here on the stock chart. It was uh, January of this year, 2024, where the stock hit $1.20. Um, only to give back a lot of those throughout the first part of 2024. This was a time right here that was um, um, not a lot happening in the news uh, with Aduro. Um, however, uh, we knew that there was a lot going on behind the scenes and, and inevitably made whole uh, through the announcements that resulted in this run-up as of late in the stock. I do want to go back one year's time, August of 2023, and remind everybody that if I put my cursor on 16 August 2023, the stock was trading at 66 cents. This was actually hard for me to believe since I've been in the stock for almost double uh, this time or over double uh, going back into 2022 uh, where I started to accumulate my shares in the company. And it was around the 62 cent mark that I started to uh, actually accumulate some shares. And I know there's some people in the community that uh, got in on the really the ground floor uh, of the company, I believe in the 40 cent range. Nonetheless, for me, I, I'm satisfied with looking at the performance of the stock. But I want to premise this with regard to closing down this uh, chapter of the Aduro Clean Technology story. This will no longer exist anymore. Um, we will no longer be talking about a share price in the pennies uh, and, and one that uh, has just made its recent high of $1.50 here as of just uh, oh about a week ago, uh, August 11th, 2024 of $1.50. With the uh, stock uh, reverse split and the consolidation of shares that is coming due, uh, we will see a stock price that is uh, around 3x from what we have now. Uh, and we will see a, th uh, um, a share float that is 3x as of um, or one third uh, what it is now. So proportionately, the share float will decrease and the share price will increase to meet the listing uh, requirement here for their eventual uplisting to the New York Stock Exchange. So interesting enough, this really tells a lot. And I think there was even if I could convey um, some level of, um, of, of not being as patient as I should have been right here and getting a little bit, you know, anxious about you know, going through periods like this, I knew to hold, and that's exactly what I did. Uh, sometimes conviction is um, a, a hell of a lot more important than acting on emotion. And I, and you can have differing emotions that differ from the actual um, application that you have in a stock. But what do you do now? What do you do at this level? What am I doing? I think it is um, important for you guys to understand that for over two and a half years, I've held this company all the way through. Um, I have put one sell order on the ledger um, in in uh, an attempt to grab some um, some tax um, uh, harboring of some profits for myself, but. Uh, over the course of the last two and a half years, I have done nothing but accumulate. Um, I bought uh, at maybe some unopportune times, and uh, I accumulated at what uh, proved to be some opportune times. Obviously, with a stark chart like this, it's 
not very difficult to be right. In other words, you could have bought at what at the time appeared to be a short-term high in the company only to you know see the stock digress a little bit, but then eventually come out of that funk and meet its new high here of $1.50. This stock chart tells me that the trajectory uh, is on an upswing. Now, the reason why I wanted to come out with this video and talk through the stock um, a little bit, it's fun for me to do. Typically, I would focus on the company, the fundamentals, the breakthroughs and new collaborations, new board members, new announcements, things of that sort, which add to the fundamental story, which in turn, you hope would uh, affect the stock price in, in a positive way. I mean, that, that's really the correlation that we're looking for uh, over the long term, okay, is to look at this um, summary, basically, in a one-year chart and try to discern not only what has transpired over that year, but also what it could potentially mean for the future, Okay, I think what we look at here with an Enduro Clean Technology is a company that is early stage. I, I think there's been a couple of, of shoot ups. I think this increase in the stock price was a lot less warranted than the one that we have had as of late with the Total Energy announcement that we had, uh, as well as the uplisting announcement. I think those are two monumental announcements in showcasing this company. Um, and, and I don't think a lot fundamentally changes with the company, albeit some validation on the total announcement. And then I think the huge uh, piece that I think people are missing right now, um, even with the increase in the stock price, is the amount of awareness that is going to be brought uh, to the Aduro Clean Technology story once the uplisting is complete and we start to increase uh, the, the volumes. I, I think Aduro Clean Technologies over the course of this time period represented here on this chart speaks to a company that um, has fought through and been able to showcase what they bring to the table in spite of being on less than favorable uh, markets. Um, not having uh, uh, full access to shares, um, not being at that 100 million market cap, which we have just solved that problem, um, not being, um, yes, attractive to larger institutional investors, but not being able to engage in the Aduro Clean Technology story based on the market cap uh, and the restrictions that those brokers hold. Uh, for uh, those companies that are traded on the OTC markets, that will go away. Um, and I'm not here to forecast for you. I'm here to close the book of business on this Aduro Clean Technologies stock chart that is represented here. Uh, I'm happy to do so. Uh, I, I'm, I'm quick to, to say congratulations. Uh, if you have been on this ride at some point <laughs> in either the distant past or the recent past, uh, you have made money with this story, and I congratulate you um, on your uh, perseverance with the company, your patience through times where it seemed that perhaps even holding a stock like this in its early stages of, of what I think it still has in front of it, it is difficult at times, but if you did persevere and apply sound investing discipline uh, to this holding, uh, you are in fact up in the name. So guys, thank you very much for talking through this Aduro Clean Technology stock chart that we are here going to uh, close down on uh, and enter into a new chapter of writing this story and continuing to cover it uh, going forward. So we'll kick you back and we'll conclude the video. All right, guys, so we've come out of the stock chart. The charts tell a lot when we look at it. When we look at a stock like Aduro from a day-to-day -day perspective, there were times when it seemed like the news was a little dry. Um, conviction could have been tested for people out there. This investment wasn't for everybody. We started to cover this company when it was trading at $0.62 cents US, and we've seen the company evolve and grow. Um, we've seen marked progress in the company. And when we take a, take a step back and look at 
what has been the ACTHF project. Um, I closed the book on this business knowing that we um, conveyed the to the best of our ability what we had at the time of, of sharing that in information. Uh, we provided tutorial on what we thought the information meant. And hopefully, hopefully you found the information beneficial for you um, as, as maybe you've been able to um, engage in this opportunity and make a little money from it. Uh, at the end of the day, guys, this is about investing. And investing is about making money. And when we looked at the Aduro technologies at on the onset, I think you can agree with me now looking at it in 2024 and beyond, we are potentially looking at one of the greatest opportunities in investing that I have ever seen. And I think we are just getting started. But it's worth taking a moment to uh, acknowledge uh, where we've been, acknowledge where we are, and more importantly, where we could potentially go with this opportunity. Guys, subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments at the bottom of the video. I thank you so much for tuning in for the totality of this video. And good luck in your investment future.